Hey, Michael Balistrieri, Black Snow Comics here. Today I want to talk about uh, Netflix Daredevil Season 1. So recently they announced they're canceling all the uh, Marvel shows on Netflix. And I thought that'd be a good time to go revisit them. I've only watched a few of them. Um, I did watch Season 1 of Daredevil when it first came out. Right now I'm trying to rewatch all of them. So far I'm at, uh, I watched Daredevil Season 1, then I watched Jessica Jones, then Daredevil Season 2, and I'm on Luke Cage. And I'm trying to watch them in um, what's supposed to be the chronological order from what I looked up. So I guess I'll review each one as I as I finish them. Overall, I really enjoyed Daredevil Season 1. Um, it's a big enough hero that I'm pretty familiar with the background and everything. I saw the Bad Ben Affleck movie. Um, I don't know if I ever really read any of the comics, but he'd been a peripheral character on enough things that I knew about him. And um, I always thought he was kind of interesting, but the show really made it made him interesting. The show did a good job of making kind of everything interesting. That's that's what I'll say about season one. It, it holds your interest. Um, what I mean by that, Kingpin. Kingpin's always been kind of a very bland bad guy to me. I mean, his motivation is just he's a crime boss. Um, there's nothing all that interesting about him just off the bat. But season one dives into what kind of made him that way, the machinations behind what he's doing, um, his motivations, how it all runs, and they do a good job making it pretty interesting. Um, I've never really cared for Kingpin before, but the show made me want to learn more about him and find out what was going on with him, what would happen to him. Um, another thing the show does well is reporting. Reporting comes up in a lot of superhero comics, um, mostly as a way to follow kind of the what's happening. And like in the case of Superman, it's a way for him to find out what, what's going on next or different things like that. Somehow it's always tied in, but it's not usually done very well. Um, in this case, I think it's handled pretty well. They make it fairly interesting where um, Karen Page gets involved with uh, Ben Urich, a reporter, and and you get to see kind of the rationale behind how they handle uh, news stories, what what the ethics behind it is, and different things. Uh, it just draws you in. Um, similarly, uh, of course, being Daredevil, his alter ego, Matt Murdock, is a lawyer, and that's something that could be pretty hit or miss. Um, the way law is depicted on things, the way it's depicted here, it's pretty interesting. Uh, and the idea of him going after people that he's not going to be able to get through the law is interesting. Another thing is Matt Murdock's a pretty devout Catholic. And a lot of times when religion and Catholicism is depicted in shows, I, I don't really care for it. It's kind of a turnoff. But the way it's done here, you really see him wrestling with his responsibilities and his ethics and emotions and morals and that's handled well too um well, the first time i watched it i really didn't like foggy nelson matt murdoch's best friend and business partner watching it this time i found him a bit more likable um, i don't know what the difference is it's been a few years uh, maybe it's because i was watching it again but I didn't find him as annoying. Um, he was kind of the biggest turnoff to the show when I first watched it. But watching it now, I, I see his appeal. Um, I still don't care for the infighting between him and Matt, like, especially after he finds out about Matt being Daredevil. That's kind of overblown and a little, I, I guess it's, I mean, it's supposed to be dramatic, but that part I didn't really like as much. Um, but overall, it's a very strong season, it pulls you in, it's very street level superheroes, it, um, it's a, quite a contrast to the Marvel movies, and I guess now they're trying to say that these shows didn't really have anything to do with the movies, although if you watch the shows, they mention things that happen in the movies, so it is supposed to be the same world as you're watching it. Um, so I guess they'll retcon that later as they try to reboot some of these shows when Netflix loses the Marvel deal for them. But even even with the ending, 
I don't know, I'm only two seasons in. I've never seen the third season, so I can't really qualify it all yet. But I would say watching season one is definitely worthwhile. Um, it probably build up your interest in this character if you're not really familiar with Daredevil. If you are a Daredevil fan, I think you'll be happy with the depiction of him. Uh, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10 because I really enjoyed it. So check it out.